Florida State football revealed some brand new uniforms, a brand new design here in 2023 that we're super excited about seeing on the field in just a few short months. I was in Doak yesterday, Richie, and the crowd reaction was pretty exciting. It was cool to see Jameis and some of the legends respond on social media and share their excitement. First thoughts when you saw those uniforms yesterday? First thought was amazing job by Florida State to not let this leak in any way at all, right? Like, nobody expected this to happen. Uh, the, the, we'd have new uniforms setting into the 2023 season, and I just thought it was amazing. I think if you were a fan of the old uniforms or of the new uniforms, this was the perfect complement of both. Um, I, I love the shoulder caps being a lot smaller and, and not as you know, detailed uh, or in your face uh, as the ones we've had the past few years, man, I, again, I did not expect to see this and for them to just come out of nowhere with it. I loved it. Shout out Florida state equipment and Nike, because I'm excited to see this team in Orlando against LSU in a few short months. Yeah. So, okay. 2013 Florida state. I, there, I know there's been a lot of keep this chief po people and a lot of the you know, ignition sedition people that I, I won't go quite down that road, but Florida State did have the most iconic uniforms in college football. And, you know, what Jameis wore in Pasadena to win it all against Auburn, uh, those were phenomenal. And so I, I like the new logo. I'll say that. Like, I don't want to upset people, but I do like the new logo. I, I like the, the upgraded logo. I liked the old uniforms. And so I liked what 2013 had. 2014, they those were awful, right? And so I will say, like, when we first saw the team in Oklahoma State, it wasn't so bad there in, in Jerry's world. But I heard on TV it was tough to see who players even were because the, the gold on top of the white uniforms just didn't go well. That did get adjusted. They did adjust that. Later that year, I remember we played Louisville. We wore a garnet number. It was a garnet number on top of a white uniform. And so... I, I do think that they adjusted at times. There have been other minor adjustments along the way, but by and part, large portion of the fan base hated the uniforms uh, from 2014 through 2022. I do think they did get slightly better with each minor tweak, but a lot of people didn't like the tribal pattern on the shoulders. Um, and so there has been, it seems, a bit of an upgrade with what's coming now, we're rolling this video that Florida State put out. I love the all whites. I mean, the, the the white helmet really hasn't changed at all. The white uniforms look really, really sharp. Um, well, it's a white jersey, but I, I do know they have white pants that are coming with that as well. A um, little 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 update for you guys. It'll be pretty similar to what they wore um, at Louisville. I, I think those will look really, really sharp. I think people will like those. Still do have the tribal pattern around the collar and around the sleeves, which I think is neat. Like a a nice more subtle touch. I think it was just kind of a little too gaudy when it was on the shoulders. Uh, Richie, do you have any problems with this uniform? Is like, is there anything you don't like about it? Or, you, you know, I know we're being pretty positive here on this, but what are your, you know, real reaction here? What are your thoughts on the, uh, on the, is there anything you, you would change? No, the nostalgia Richie loves like those night, early nineties work done uniforms, right? I love those, but understanding we're going modern with Nike vapor and everything, man, I, I think they hit a home run here. It, it just looks so good. I, I think you want to have the Florida state uniform, not have these massive shoulder caps and, and collars and everything else. Uh, I think they did a great job with this. Shout out Michael Offord, shout out Nike. I, I hate on Nike all the time when it comes to Florida State football's uniforms. Um, shout out Tarif Knockout. I'm sure he's pretty happy with what's going on here. <laughs> but no, I, I think they look really good. The only gripe I would have is I would like the home uniforms to look similar to the away uniforms to where the, the pattern comes all the way down as opposed to just the away uniforms. But man, I, I think they are clean. They are neat. They look good. And I cannot wait for Florida State football in 2023. All right. So I've got a small gripe and I'm going to tell you guys about it. As soon as I give Gramco some love, go to <laughs> thegramco.com. This will help me get over my gripe. Uh, go to thegramco.com. Use code TJ25 at checkout to get 25% off all of the best Delta 8 products on the market. Hey, if you order from them and you comment below that you ordered 
shoot me your order number or your name and I'll send the first person to order from this video using the code, I'll send you a gift card um, from Graham Co. So uh, appreciate them. They were out there at the tailgate yesterday when we were hanging out, we were giving out some gift cards. So if you order, you're the first one to order, um, comment it on this video and we'll get you uh, we'll get you a gift card for ordering. So get that done quick. Ho hopefully you got, this is why it pays to be a subscriber or have notifications on because if you see this video first, you have a better chance of, of winning this. My only gripe, Richie, very small gripe, I'm not, I'm not trying to be a complainer. I'm not trying to be a whiner, even though that's what I'm going to sound like. I don't love the numbers on the shoulders. I, I yeah. just don't love it. I, I think it's a little much. I get that you probably want to put something there. And so numbers are what makes the most sense maybe. But I just don't – I feel like when, when the guys are standing, you can see, you can see the number three times when they're standing straight on. And there's just very rarely a time where you're looking at a guy directly on the side and you can't tell who that is. So I'm not a huge fan of it. I, I think kind of from the back too, you kind of see the number three times. It looks a little crowded to me. I wouldn't hate if they lost those numbers on the shoulders, but that's a very small gripe. They do look a lot more classic. They look a lot more traditional. I'm not trying to be too much of a whiner here, but that's the only thing I don't. If I said there was one thing I didn't love, it'd be that. Let me now, ask you this. Grow on me with time. Let me ask you this because it, it is the thing on Twitter right now, and I, I think I don't know if it was intentional or not. But did you realize they did not have the ACC patch on the uniforms oh. on the reveal? It was that intentional. Was it a shot at the ACC and saying, "Hey, guys"? We're open for business here because obviously that that's a continuous conversation that's going on and on and on. But yeah, they did not have the ACC patch mm. on the uniform reveal. I thought that was somewhat significant. <laughs> I think that when you're dealing with multi-million dollar organizations, very few things are unintentional. Yes. Now, I will say this. I fully expect Florida State to have the ACC patch on their jersey on yeah. Sunday of Labor Day. Night. Like, there's no way they're going to, you know, juice ain't worth yeah. the squeeze on that one, I don't <laughs> think. But I wish you would have asked me that earlier because I'd love to go back and look <laughs> at the old uniform reveal to see if they had the uh, patch on, uh, the ACC patch on when they revealed – because if, if they didn't, then I'll tell you, when they revealed the white uniforms this year, they did have the patch on. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, maybe there's a little, maybe there's a little bit to that. Um, Just like a little said, message. I you know, expect, I don't know. <laughs> I do expect them to have it on when they get to Charlotte. Uh, you know, yeah. the other thing is, or not Charlotte. Yeah, definitely Charlotte. But when they get to uh, Orlando, but yeah, maybe a little bit of a subtle shot there. I looked back at okay, so I just looked back at the uh, at the old one. They didn't have that on when they did the 2014 ones either. So I think it's just about probably just getting the material sewn on, just not having it done just yet, trying to get it out as fast as they could. But certainly something to notice, and certainly I, they certainly didn't make an extra effort to to do it though, right? So it was like. All right, we're out of here <laughs> on this. Um, but fun, a lot of fun stuff. I'm already excited to, so I need to make sure that Nike, and of course we will only get this from Garnet and Gold, but I need to make sure that Nike makes them in a really small child size because I'm getting <laughs> getting these for all the kids. These are these are, these are are really sharp, man. Uh, definitely Garnet because kids will ruin everything white. So will I. I don't wear a lot of white either for that very reason. Um, but... Shout out Garnet Gold, where I'm going to definitely be getting some of these at. So, all right, this was a fun one. This is fun to just talk about uniforms. Um, let us know your thoughts. We definitely want to hear from you guys down below. What do you like about the uniforms? What do you not like? Are you team that keep this chief? And so you are mad about us for even, you know, not uh, jumping on that bandwagon. What are your thoughts down below in the comments? Florida State's going to look really, really good this season on the field, but now they're going to be threaded up pretty nice too. So no complaints about that. Um, Again, shout out Michael Alford, shout out Coach Norvell, the whole staff, the whole team, everybody from the top to the bottom on a really, really fun spring game weekend. We've got a ton more coverage coming on the spring game weekend, everything from guys shutting down recruitments to depth chart previews and everything else. Make sure that you're tuned in here on the channel. Hit subscribe. Let us know your thoughts down below. We will talk to you guys soon. Excited about those uniforms.
but we'll talk to you guys later. Go Knowles.